Welcome back to my channel, Meta Language, and we're going to tackle period of deferral and deferred amity. So let's start with the variables. So we have letter K, that will be the period of deferral. On letter N naman, that will be the number of times compounded or in compounding frequency. And yung T is for the time. Always remember, ang time nakabase palagi sa year. Just in case ang pinigay sa problem ay nakamons, dapat i ko convert mo siya in years. So next one is the number of times or yung compounding frequency, yung variable na n. So let's start with the by annually that will be 0.5, annually natin that will be 1, semi-annually is 2, quarterly is 4, monthly is 12, weekly is 52, and daily is 365. So no ba yung formula na gagamitin natin para malaman natin yung period of deferral sa deferred annuity. So we have k is equal to mt minus 1. So ang n natin is the compounding frequency, ang t is the time, tapos yung sagot niya, minus natin ng 1, doon natin malalaman yung period of deferral. Okay? So let's have some example. Example number 1, monthly payments of 500 pesos for 10 years starting 5 months from now. So, papansin natin dito sa problem, mabay daw siya monthly ng 500 pesos for 10 years. Kaso magisimula daw yung bayad 5 months from now. So, ilan daw yung period na hindi siya daw nakabayad? So, obviously, malalaman naman natin agad na 4 months siyang hindi nakabayad. So, first month, second month, third month, and fourth month, hindi siya nakabayad. Kasi starting 5 months daw siya, mag, sa 5th month siya magbabayad. So, just in case na complicated siya, nagamit tayo ng formula. Kaso gamitin na natin ng nilang formula to kahit na alam na natin yung sagot, which is 4 months. So, nagin natin yung formula, that will be K is equal to NT minus 1. At color-coded naman to. So, ang K natin will be 12 times mo sa fraction of 5 over 12. Bakit 5 over 12, sir? Remember, starting 5 months. So, ang T natin palagi nakadepend sa year. So, there are 12 months in a year at nakalagi lang dito sa problem is starting 5 months. So, 5 over 12. So, yung sagot niyan, so, cancel out naman natin yung 12. So, 5 minus 1, that will be 4. So, may natin sa illustration, yung sa dulo, that will be the 5th month. Kasi, starting 5 months from now. Okay? Yung 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th mo, in times na hindi siya nakabayad. Okay? And we're talking about monthly. So, first month, second month, third month, and fourth month. Natanong dito, what is the period of deferral? Or the number of per period of deferral natin sa deferred annuity? Again, ang deferred annuity or yung period of deferral natin, yung times na hindi siya nakabayad, which is four periods or four months. Alright, so second example tayo, monthly payments of 2,000 pesos for nine years starting seven years from now. So, lagay natin yung formula, k is equal to nt minus 1. So, ano dito yung n natin? That will be monthly. So, that will be 12. E ang t naman, anong gagamitin natin? 9 years or 7 years? Always check kung saan yung starting 7 years from now. Basta kung saan siya magsisimulang magbayad, dun yung t natin. At dahil 7 years, so 7 na siya as is. Hindi na natin siya kailangan i-convert kasi naka-years na siya. Okay? Next is, substitute na natin. So, k is equal to 12 times 7. Yung sagot niya, minus man ng 1. And the answer will be 83 periods or 83 months. So, yung period of deferral natin, that will be 83 months or 83 periods. Okay? Example number 3. Quarterly payments of 5,000 for 3 years starting 1 year and 6 months from now. So, dito naman, quarterly siya nagbabayad ng, ng payment ng 5,000 for 3 years to. Kaso, dito naman, starting 1 year and 6 months from now. Looks complicated, but nasagutin natin yan. So, first step natin, lagyan natin agad yung formula. K is equal to NT minus 1. Second step is, K is equal to 4. Bakit 4? Kasi quarterly. Okay? Ang T naman natin, that will be 1.5. Bakit 1.5? Kasi 1 year and 6 months. Okay? Remember, ang T natin nakadepend sa year. So, in 6 months natin, ko-convert natin siya sa fraction, which is 6 over 12. 
So, pwede rin ang ilagay mo dyan sa TI 1 and 6 over 12. So, ang 6 over 12 is 0.5, di ba? So, 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5. Ngayon, is substitute na natin siya. So, K is equal to 4 times mo ng 1.5. Tapos, yung sagot niyan, may sa ng 1. And you will have an answer of 5 periods or 5 quarters. Alright, so last example tayo. Example number 4. Semi-annually payments of 200 pesos for 3.5 years starting 48 months from now. Okay, so semi-annually naman siya nagbabayad. Kaso magisimula daw yung bayad 48 months from now. So as usual, naging natin yung formula. K is equal to NT minus 1. Next step, substitute natin. So K is equal to 2. by 2 kasi semi-annually. Times natin siya sa fraction na 48 over 12. So, bakit 48 over 12? There are 12 months in a year at you have given us uh, 48 months, di ba? 48 over 12, tapos naging natin yung minus 1. Sagutin na natin. 48 over 12 is 4. Ngayon, times 1 and 2, that will be 8. Minus ka ng 1, that will be 7. So, the final answer is 7 periods or 7 quarters. So, 7 quarters or 7 periods daw yung period of deferral. Hindi siya nagbayad nung time na yun. Nagsimula lang kasi ng 48 months from now. Okay? Or dun sa 8 quarter, siya nagsimulang magbayad. And that's the end of the lesson about how to find the period of deferral. Ang next video natin will be about how to find the present value in deferred annuity. So, makikita nyo sa problem, napakahaba ng formula and we need to know paano makuha yung K. Which is, ito na yun. Tinuro ko na kung paano makuha yung K or the period of deferral. So, I will see you again in the next video. And if you would like to suggest another math and language video or kung may assignment kayo, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please also like, subscribe, and also share and click nyo na rin yung bell notification para updated kayo sa bagong video ng math and language. Thank you. Bye-bye.